Hello everyone. In this video, I will continue showing you how to add your own spatial data into GeoServer, on which you watched an earlier video how to set up a GeoServer in your local computer. As you have seen, you can access GeoServer using a browser in localhost GeoServer, and you can see all these layers. So to add any of your own layers into GeoServer, you can use in this interface. One disadvantage is that with this interface, you have to do it manually. And you have to set the styles, you have to set the stores, workspace. So there are multiple steps involved. The objective of this video is not to show you how to add layers using this interface, but how to achieve this step easily using plugins in QGIS. So for this purpose, we will use a plugin called GeoCat Bridge, which can upload maps which are open in QGIS and styled. So GeoCat Bridge can upload the maps along with the styles defined in QGIS into GeoServer. That is a big advantage if you have many maps to upload into GeoServer. It will save a lot of time. Following that, we will use another plugin which is called QGIS to Web. Uh, and uh, there I will show you how you can create quickly a web application to start with. So let us go to QGIS. Here you can see that I have set some layers, one vector layer, which is a CCA1 boundary, and I have four raster layers, crop type map, yield water productivity, yield in tons, and related water deficit. And I have set some styles, which I like, and I want to host these maps in these particular styles in GeoServer. So for this purpose, what we need is a plugin called GeoCat. It's already here. So we can also search like this, GeoCat Bridge. Install the plugin. Close this menu and you can see that plugin in under web menu. You can go to GeoCat Bridge, publish. So you can see that GeoCat has already listed all the layers available in uh, Layer Manager. So you can select all of them or you can unselect some of them depending on what you want to uh, upload into GeoServer. So there are mainly two tabs which is of our interest, Publish and Servers. So now we are we want to publish all these layers into the GeoServer which is installed in localhost or it can be in a server with a public IP. You should know the link, that's all. So let's add that server uh, into GeoCat. So there are no servers defined. So I'm going to add a new server. You, here you can see there are many options. There's map server, geo network, post GIS. But in our case, it's GeoServer. I'm going to give a name or local host it can be any other name the url um, has to be the local host url which we used to access geo server one thing to notice is that uh, in the url you have to add rest uh, to the end uh, to make it work in G with the geocat we have a basic uh, authentication here so we have to add the credentials which we use to log into GeoServer. so let us add a new one and i will call it uh, host it's, it's again a name um, the username is admin and password is geo server 
and I will save this credentials. We will save. Uh, don't forget to click on this save button, which will save the current server, and you can connect. You can see that the connection is successfully established. So this is this step is very important uh, to upload the layers into this particular server. In similar way, if you have a different geo server outside your local host in a server, you can add that link here with the public IP, add the credentials, a different credentials, use it, save it, and there will be another server here, and you can use that to upload your layers from QGIS. Now let's go to publish. I've selected all of them, and I'm not going to deal with the metadata now it's up to you if you want to add metadata and also publish metadata but let's look into published data with the defined styles in qgis i'm going to say data server is local host and publish so it will show you the progress it should be fast because it's in local server if it's outside then it will also depend on the internet connectivity uh, if you are uh, uploading uh, big data into uh, into server hosted outside but it works so this is a published report you can see that uh, all these layers are already published so how do we check if we have all these uh, layers published in your server we can close this one of course, we'll go back to our Geo server. I will go to the Geo server homepage. You can see that there are some layers already added. And you can see that the crop type is there, CCA1 boundary is the yield tons is there, uh, and all has a workspace called WP underscore analysis. So whatever is the name of your project that will become the workspace name and in that way you can easily identify all the layers which you have uh, uploaded into geoserver so these are the layers which is uploaded you can check you can preview these layers using layer preview you can go to layer preview think, uh, yeah here are those wp analysis all those layers uh, let's see how yield looks yeah so it works uh, it has uploaded the data plus this child which we have uh, defined in qgis and you can see that uh, yeah in full detail we can see the layers hosted in your server you can check your cca1 boundary now it should work and also the crop type map if you want how it looks so your layers are ready in uh, uh, in your server now if you if you go to open layers uh, all these layers are now hosted as a wms service okay. now you can use this wms service to add these layers as a web service into QGIS. So for the next step, so the next step is to see how to develop a simple web application. So I will use a new plugin called QGIS to web for this purpose, but we want to use instead of TIFF files or shape files, we want to use WMS services because you're going to you'll be developing web application using WMS services. So WMS is OGC specification. So even, even you can mix WMS services from, for example, from NRSC or from NASA and your own WMS services. So that is the advantage if you use WMS services to create web application. So what I'm going to do is I will save this uh, project. I will open a new project. And in this project, I will add all the WMS services. So in QGIS, you can add access WMS services uh, using the utility called add WMS layer. And in the WMS layer, I will set a new server. 
which is our local host and not this link but we need the WMS service link and WMS service link is usually the URL up to WMS question mark so this is the WMS link to access all the layers under WP underscore analysis workspace so let us go here and put this link and say okay yes and here you can see that I have a number of WMS services but I will select localhost which I just created connect it and then now you can see that it, it can access all the layers available under WP analysis workspace um, I will add one by one uh, because and then only it will add as uh, different layers here so rwd is added wpy is added yield is added crop type is added and cc bar is added so we um, so i will do a rearrangement here i don't want to see crop type by default now let's go to uh, now let's save this project i will save it as webmap.qgis qg is it which is uh, the project format in my case it's already exists i'm going to replace it so i have a project now saved project called webmap where i have five wms services opened in my qgis now let us add a base map in this case i'm going to add a base map uh, from openstreetmap so for that i will go to open data source manager i will add the base map as a xyz tile and qgis comes uh, with a default xyz connection already set i will use that one for openstreetmap so i will add that you can see that openstreetmap is already added i'll bring it down uh, lowest to the to all the layers switch out on the layers save the project again so now we have all the layers ready uh, to add uh, to our first web application web gis application now to develop a web gis application i'm going to use plugin as earlier said qgis to web so i'll go to plugin manager search for qgis to web select and install that particular plugin the installation is done you will find that plugin again in web qgis to web now let us open the plugin and see how to convert these layers into a webgis so here you can see that all the layers which are available in layer manager is also available here in the layers and groups so i want all the layers to be in my webgis but i don't want all the layers to be visible by default in my webgis so i only want my boundary yield and open street map to be visible by default so i will remove visibility of the other layers i will enable get feature info for all the layers other than boundary and uh, open street map uh, rest you can leave uh, the default now let's go to the next uh, tab which is appearance so you can add a address search to your application yes we need a layer manager so add layers list uh, which should be collapsed by default then i will also add a measure tool which is should be in metric uh, let us put a full screen template i think rest everything i will leave default i will now go to the next setting next tab called export 
so you can export the entire app into a folder or you can directly export it into a FTP which could be a server with a public IP if you want to launch it directly to the app but I will recommend to export it to a local folder play with it improve it customize it so there are there will be a lot of things to add if you want to before you publish the app to outside world so let's export a folder let's set a folder i will set the folder again uh, wp underscore analysis select the folder before i export i will uh, update the preview so that we will see the preview of the app here and there are three options in qgs2 web uh, there are three libraries uh, webgs libraries one is open layers which is very common uh, leaflet is uh, also open source and getting more and more common nowadays and there is mapbox uh, user library also available so let's try open layers i will update the preview so you can see that this is how your app will look you have a zoom in button you have scale you have search and you have a layer manager here you can also try it with the leaflet uh, update preview you can see how it looks almost same uh, some color differences i will keep with uh, open layers and i will export uh, the app into a folder it's done and by default it opens in uh, internet explorer uh, i don't want it to be in Ex internet explorer i will copy the link close internet explorer go to chrome and see how it looks it looks good to me you can zoom in uh, there is a nice base map where you can see the place names you can add more layers you can add your crop type you can add rwt or w uh, water productivity or yield in tons you can also measure distance uh, five kilometer up to here so like that or you can also search for uh, um, places for example Unasagi, and it will show you the option you can select Unasagi and it will go there. so a simple uh, search to a particular place option is also there now you can to further develop this particular app you can go to the folder where you have exported you can see that there is a folder uh, specific to qgs to web and now you can see all the files it looks like a web application index.html is the main file um, in the layers in the layer this javascript file all the layers all the wms layers is defined if you want to edit something activate feature info and uh, other features related to WMS you can do it here so it depends on you now uh, how much you want to edit and customize this particular application upload it into us uh, into your server with the public IP uh, and make it public so that's it uh, thank you for listening